Welcome to the Nook and the Voluntary Virtues Network. I am Steve. With me today is Mike. Yo. Riley. Cheers. Chelsea. Pamela. Howdy. John. John. And the dude. Oi. Yeah. The dude. Boy. I like it. What are you drinking today, Riley? Tonight I'm just uh, sipping back on some... Pretty generic red wine. I like it though. Is anybody drinking beer tonight? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. That's a tragedy. Mm -hmm. I guess it's kind of a. Uh... Drying out from Jackaloo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, I out. Should, should be mentioned <laughs> that, you know, it was a great time. I had a blast. Uh, you know, a lot of good uh, conversations with people, a lot of fun experiences. Uh, I don't remember Friday night, really. <laughs> I mean, there's like little flashes of it, fuzzy fuzzy sections that are there, but as a whole, Friday night, I don't remember much, but I did kind of cut back, and Saturday and Sunday were, uh, you know, really fulfilling, so. Yeah. It was a good time. Official shirts? Mm-hmm. Official shirts, by oh, the way. Official. Official, unofficial shirts. Official. 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 Modified official. Official. Yeah. Mo uh, modified official shirts at the non-event. Yeah. Yes. Pamela violated the copyright. Yeah. <laughs> Switching up the light. So who was in charge of the whole thing? You know, a guy's name was like Jack Elope or something like that? Or yeah, his, name, his first name was Jack. That's what I heard. His last name was Elope. Elope. I also heard ain't nobody know Jack. Yeah, <laughs> nobody knows Jack. Yeah, yeah. The man behind the curtain. Yeah. <laughs> kind of sounds like, what do you think? Like, like the trick is there is no one behind the curtain. Yeah. <laughs> but Jack Elope. Not behind, no, not Jack Elope. Might be a French name, I don't know. <laughs> Well, it was my first time, and I really enjoyed it. Um, definitely want to go back next year. And uh, I met a lot of really awesome and interesting people. And it was very relieving um, for my mind to be around people that think like I do. And not, like, you didn't really have to talk about what's going on, because everybody in the government, because everyone already knew it, and you could relax. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you didn't have really have to be responsible, um, and you could just enjoy yourself, and maybe a little too much on Friday night as well. <laughs> <laughs> I, I ended up at a lot of different campsites. <laughs> I was wondering where you went for a second. <laughs> and uh, we had... Hopping fires. Yeah, we had to, uh, we had to stumble back to our tents and help a couple people back to theirs. <laughs> yeah. I was barely capable of getting myself back, but we managed. We managed. <laughs> it was worth it. Yeah. Worth it. I'm, I think I'm still a little hungover, actually, today. <laughs> it happens. So. You know what I really think is cool about Jackalope? I remember, I think it was Sunday, we were all kind of hanging out. Somebody left, maybe it was Monday morning. Yeah. Somebody left some money and keys lying on the ground next to our campfire, didn't belong to anybody who lived in the group or, or was, was living in that area, and nobody fucked with it. Yeah. Somebody, I think, was it your wallet? It was Riley. Riley, yeah. 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 Left his ri wallet lying around. Somebody brought it over. That was a different yeah. Day, but yeah, yeah. There yeah, was yeah. a lot of things. That was one of the things I was there thinking about, There was no cash in too. it, mind you. But. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of things that got lost and left around and all of the uh, fire hopping, and it always got returned. Well, I will know? say I never found well. my organic mustard. <laughs> oh, we have it. You do? I don't know how that happened. My, the, the mustard was not pilfered. I was I wondering pilfered. where my mustard went. <laughs> well, that's, yeah, they're out. That's we your mustard. Okay. Stuff. It's okay. always a little bit now, of crisis, so I, I never sure got my lighter back either. Well, you know. Michael Shanklin oh. stole it on the first day, <laughs> and then somebody else stole it from him. But don't we owe so much to Michael? Maybe we did the channel together. Sure, he uh, may yeah, take yeah. a lighter every now and then, but I guess it all uh, evens out, right? You know. <laughs> he was in a different state of mind at the time, granted. Well, you can't yeah. really hold it against the man. He also left hit some of his things at our camp and right. left, found right. it and then left it there again. Twice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she, he dropped a bag of something there. <laughs> A little something of goods. Somehow, somehow I imagine like 
my Mike's like bedstand drawer, you know, if you open it, it's just like 80 lighters, like half the <laughs> <laughs> And he doesn't know how he got there. He's just like, what the hell? <laughs> when did I buy so many lighters? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even a smoker. <laughs> seriously though, great guy. You know, we, we did a, uh, we did a, like a little panel thing about, you know, kind of, kind of, you know, um, uh, uh, what we do. Yeah, doing, doing the show and, you know, talking about, you know, the, the mic has set up the channel and, and uh, you know, and saying that, you know, there's all sorts of great shows on there and, you know, trying to, trying to you know, uh, sell it a little bit. And I, I, I think it went well. You know, people understood that, you know, hey, we're, we're all trying to get together and kind of do this on our own and doing the best of what, with what we can and all that. And it seems well, Mike, Michael, what's his last name? Shanklin? Shanklin. Yeah. I, I, it was a real pleasure to meet the guy. I, I didn't know, you know, I'd never met him before. I, didn't, I wasn't aware of who exactly started Voluntary Virtues Network or, you know, there's a little, like, kind of tidbit on what Voluntary Virtues is about, kind of somewhere on, you know, the channel. And so I, I knew that much about it, but it was just a real, real pleasure to meet the guy. Real, real cool cat. I'm just real yeah. thankful for the platform. Got a great Batman. To do the boy. show. Great Batman boy. Oh, yeah. Make a greater Batman than, you know, what's Jack his name? Batman. Matt, what's his name? Ben Affleck ever will. Yeah. yeah. So Mike Shanklin's Batman next year? Is that the thing? <laughs> yeah. If you want him to be, man, I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll call him yeah. Batman. Yeah. I don't mind. I'm just going to start calling him Batman. Now, <laughs> now Batman. that you mentioned it, actually, it really comes out of my head. Yeah. Batman boy. If you're, if you're watching this and thinking about next year going or a future, going in the future, it, it's... It's good to know that it's family friendly. There's yeah. something for everybody. There's kids running around, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, there's the other side of that too. There's plenty of partying to be had, and great discussion. The weather's great. You know, mid 80s, high 50s to mid 80s. You're gonna get wet a little bit, probably at least a couple times. Yeah. <laughs> but there's plenty of sun. No bugs. No, nope, very little yeah. bugs. The yeah. site drains, yeah. the, the soil drains real fast, so it's not mm -hmm. like you're running around and getting all muddied up. Mm -hmm. It's it's a real pleasurable place. It's yeah. Very, it's, it's, nice. it's like a little paradise away from home. Yeah, for sure. I remember the second day when I was walking through just seeing everyone selling what they had. It was just such a a nice feeling because if, if you tried to set up something like that anywhere close to... Um, where maybe the cops were rolling through. <laughs> I mean, it was just, it's just... It would be no bueno. It's just a little, like, piece of heaven to me. People were really generous as well. Yeah. Very generous. Went around I was really oh, taken yeah. back by people's generosity. Very much. Yeah. I liked how they had... Leo and... Who was the other guy that was Patrick? helping? Patrick, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, they did all their stuff donation-based, whatever oh, you thought was fair. fair. Mm -hmm. and I like that. And... They did really well. Where was their stand? People, what were people they supported them, and they Lost gave away a lot of free rabbit. food too. Oh right. So. Rabbit and the quail. I like what they did with the kids too, because they didn't. They wouldn't just give stuff to kids. Although sometimes people did, they would have them do jobs for them or collect flowers or decorate mm -hmm. their stands. So even they got an idea of the whole trading system, and I. It was so fun with having my daughter there because it, she just, I, I, the kids just get a lot of freedom there and it's a really safe place for that, I think, and um, it was a lot of fun. I loved it. Kids it was, running around getting getting all dirty yeah. and mm -hmm. what playing about with sticks. Being kids? Yeah. Do you remember Monday, the kids were trying to buy um, from Brandon? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they were coming back with sticks and then he'd go, no. <laughs> he'd come back I'm and they came back with bouquets of flowers, yeah. banana. Banana. <laughs> yeah. Little plastic gun. Yeah. <laughs> so he was trading with these kids. He was cute. I was unaware. I, I think Steve had mentioned the ag agorist type of element to the whole scene. Something I wish I would have remembered more so because we ended up taking way too much food because there was so much good food there. Mm -hmm. And I was just really uh, surprised that, you know, just all the different little, you know, booths people had, little tables they had set up and selling their product. And it was it was outrageously cool. So I definitely want to go back next year with that type of uh, mentality or, you know, a, yeah. you know, perspective on the matter and, and selling our own type of a... Uh, Bloody Mary's. You know, Bloody Mary's and, and <laughs> mojito beef is... <laughs> but I'm looking forward to next year. And I will, I will probably 
not be making any sort of alcoholic beverage and accepting donations for it at all. I would never do that. I understand <laughs> that that could be illegal, so I would never possibly do that next year at all. <laughs> not in the least. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm I would not never planning on buying it for yeah, donating. No, no yeah. that would that would be horribly illegal and wrong. Same thing with massage. <laughs> yeah. You have a yeah, I was definitely missing um, your massage table there. Yeah, I'm going to bring a massage table, a massage chair for next year. Not that I'm a licensed therapist or have anything to do with that. Yeah, you're just going to like lay just on it donation. to sleep, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're just going to sleep on it. Yeah, this is, yeah. People want to donate to the cause? There might be some of the... <laughs> Chelsea's cause? Some of us older ones who want to not massaged out too after sleeping on the floor, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> sleeping on the ground. I want to have a whole like recuperation station for the mornings. Yeah, right. Some like cool. tonic, yeah. You know, detox, yeah. Yeah, like a uh, healthy tonic. How about some IV drips? bacon sandwiches? IV, <laughs> IV drips. Can we get yeah. Steve to set up some IV drips for <laughs> no. hangovers? I was nope. more like Bloody Marys. I don't know. Bloody Marys. That's, that's my recovery. Coconut cure. water. I will definitely not be injecting anything in anybody. <laughs> <laughs> not on camera, anyway. <laughs> Unless I have something. What about your I'm going to bring wood? the IVs and hand out an instruction. <laughs> I may inject my morning wood <laughs> if somebody <laughs> wants it. Yeah, okay. do it yourself. If someone wants it. <laughs> um, it was, uh, uh, we had a cool dude hanging out with us, uh, Brandon. I don't, I didn't catch his last name, but he was, uh, we got to give him a lot of credit for more or less. Like by the time we yeah. woke up, he was already Sedona having Brandon. fire going. Yeah. Sedona yeah. Brandon. Yeah. Always yeah. had the fire going. He was, he was kind of this yeah. year's Drew, Phil, uh, yeah. Drew sample. Yeah. He yeah, Drew, we missed you not being really there, for sure. That was fitting real well. This perfect okay. fit. Yeah, he was there when we got there and uh, introduced ourselves, and he, he fit in pretty good. He was a cool guy. Mm. Enjoyed his company. I think that was one of the saddest the things of leaving, was leaving Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Brandon, yeah. we're, you're Come back to San Diego. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we'll Maybe we all need to move to Sedona. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't be opposed, man. From what he was telling me about Sedona, I've been there before, and I really enjoyed my it's trip. I was younger, place, but I've heard Sedona about it, too. It's a cool, cool, yeah. cool place. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. Very beautiful. It's been a while since I've been there. I think it's there, magical. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I think those of us uh, are at least... Uh, uh, me, Pamela, and Steve noticed this was um, was the you know the, the 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 bullshit difference of like crossing an imaginary line was that you know we're you know leaving Arizona gas was uh, at the time was what two ninety seven on the high end yeah you know on and that's the high, the high end. end that's like your shell station or something I like think that I, I think I filled up at like two no, I think I got a, a also on the high end, but it was like 280. Yeah, and you know, and then we, you, you go across that imaginary line, and it's a dollar fifty more. Yeah, yeah automatically. You know, and it was yeah. just we're like, whoa. You know? At least a dollar more. Can't, yeah, because you can open carry in Arizona, am I correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there's that whole aspect of it, right? You cross that imaginary line, and boom, you can get locked out, or you know, fucking fined, or guns confiscated, fucking felony charge, God, God knows what. It's, it's fucking outrageous. Kidnapped. Kid, yeah, right? Put in jail. Yeah, I would have been so pissed if And you cross that border. Oh. On the flip side, you cross that border and all of a sudden your medicine is illegal. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. There's yeah. that. Wait, is no, they did, no, they have... They, they have both are legal. They have medical marijuana in they do. Arizona they have dispensaries. Now? They do. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Apparently, apparently a sign for that's where Brandon works. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh. I was that's totally crazy. unaware that they had been doing medical marijuana for so long. He was telling me like something like five, six, seven plus years. Hmm. I was like, what? I was Actually, unaware. though, I think they went. It, I have a vague recollection that they're trying to do, decriminalize it altogether. Oh, good. So I think that they. I think they're one of the states that tried recently and, and it didn't pass, but like California, it's probably pretty close. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be some weird, wild stuff if it's all of a sudden legal in Arizona before it is in California. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Guns and weed man, yeah. in Arizona, you know? It's <laughs> wild. Yeah. Something I noticed, I know it's really simple, but is there was a potluck dinner on Sunday. I know you guys missed it. But... Most of the time when people put potlucks together, I mean, a potluck is just bring a dish. Mm. People usually coordinate that. You mm -hmm. know, you're going to make sure we have <laughs> enough veg, you yeah. have enough meat. There was no organization with that at all, and there was right. more than enough food, and there were so many choices. And a variety, there was yeah. Meat, there was vegetables, there were, 
appetizers. There desserts. Was dessert. was there yeah, desserts? there were desserts. Oh. Yeah. Someone oh, just amazing. brought a bunch of ginger snaps. Yeah. <laughs> well, there was the berry pie. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, that pie was yeah, amazing. Yeah, it was really good. I so, can't believe I missed yeah. out on that. Chili. I liked how spontaneous That chili was amazing. Yeah. But it's just little things like that that we just, you know, assume yeah. has to be organized, and it doesn't. It just worked out perfectly, and there's yeah. enough for everyone. So it's great. Yeah, Good like point. what Chelsea was saying about like the you know the, the spontaneity of it is that you know is, I mean my myself, you know like when I, when I when I think of anarchism and the reason why I think it has worked it is because without you know people making rules and trying to control things, eh, things kind of tend to work out better, don't they? I mean it's just yeah. that you know people have their skills and they do it and it comes together. You know, uh, Pamela made guacamole and then somebody else had like the. Uh, uh, goat leftover made of stew and it all became to be like okay so you've got your meat you've got your vegetables you've got cookies and stuff and it was like hey this is like a three-course meal here out in the middle of nowhere it was pretty damn you know pretty good. awesome i don't think the dance worked out though saturday was yeah it? i don't think that worked out <laughs> well didn't it rain saturday it did that it was, was part of it yeah, yeah. everybody kind of turned in early that yeah was rainy I mean, day. started to work around the weather i really love that rain though because it was still mm -hmm. just a warm rain like we were standing by the fire in the rain it was, it was, it was beautiful it was a beautiful place it was Very enchanting. warm until you tried to go to sleep in your wet clothes getting those mummy bags though well if the fire was big enough and you stood close enough you could actually dry off yeah. I know, that's what Brand Brandon that's what worked I on that fire all day. Yeah, yeah. that fire was going Just good. do what I did, bring extra clothes and you're always dry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Saturday night, uh, I remember specifically like the fire that was near our little area. I mean, that was like... That was like iron smelting hot. I think it was. It was that yeah. was, like, we just had like these coals going and it was just, you know, wild heat coming off of that. Let's start making horseshoes or something. You know? <sighs> Well, I think the way, like, because I remember pulling up the day we get in finally after, like, hours of being locked. <laughs> <laughs> On Thursday, I believe it was. Thursday afternoon, and we pull up, and, and Steve's there, or the dude, rather, is there, like, hauling rocks, <laughs> and Brandon's there hauling rocks, and they build this awesome fire pit that had all these different oh, layers so you guys of rocks. Built that? Yeah. That, okay. that just there's one, radiated there was, there was the one there last year, so I just assumed that that's there was, like, a... Remnants, remnants like of these, uh, just a few rocks, and then it actually the pot. There was a pile of dirt and, and ash in the middle of it that was higher than the ground around it. Mm -hmm. So that was a great pit. They did some work. Let me yeah, tell we, you. we put and some work into building that thing. They really paid off because, like you were saying, this the heat that the the rocks would yeah hold and then generate. It, it did a lot of just you know it did a lot of good things. For yeah, I learned that technique point. growing up in the city. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Working a slave job. Actually, it was Survivor Man. Yeah. <laughs> City Survivor. Bear Grylls. Yeah. I've been around because I was fire, so. <clears throat> and uh, well, we had, you know, um, we were talking about, you know, Sunday night and the potluck, and, you know, afterwards, you know, the uh, the other big fire pit that was going, you know, everybody started fire there, you know, we the had. Quote unquote main fire. Quote yeah. Unquote main fire. Yeah. The, and. Uh, the next fire. You know. That's they, where it's at. Yeah, and there was a bunch of us, you know, just sitting around talking about stuff, and, you know, when you get a bunch of, you know, anarchists like that, I mean, the, the conversation goes everywhere, you know, I mean, and, it, and, and not in a bad way, it's just, you know, the connections we make to stuff is just kind of cool, it's like we start talking about one thing, and then it becomes something else, but, you know, the, the I, I think the, the, sort, the sort of theme about that was, you know, I, I think we, I really got that what we were talking about was kind of, you know, more about you know the future of things and and a lot of you know when before we kind of started about like start talking about the you know where we're going you know we we started off kind of being a little I wouldn't really call it being on the negative side but maybe a little bit that you know talking about you know all these you know like how you know unfortunately you know how messed up our our, our civilization is right now you know we've got this culture of fear and obedience and all this sort of stuff. But then, you know, as we start talking about it, you know, we're, we're thinking, it's like, well, you know, we, we know more people now that not just from going from these events and, you know, and, and you know, developing the, these friendships. Yeah, these non-events. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, so uh, <laughs> not an event. 
Uh, Random spontaneous camp camping trips. Yes, yeah. camping with 200 of your closest friends. <laughs> what, yeah. what, what, what was the number? I wonder. 160. Is that what it was? Yeah. It was a grid. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. But as the, the conversation yeah. progressed, so it got to this point. We're, we're, we're talking, you know, we're, we're, we're saying that, you know, how much more people we know that are, you know, more open to these ideas and that you even see, like, more of these ideas sort of being talked about in more of a public place, you know? Mm -hmm. Or, you know, I mean, I've gone to, you know, coffee shops and stores sometimes, and you'll hear somebody, like, ranting about, like, oh, the government's all fucked up, and they're not just saying, they're not just saying Obama's fucked up or no, Bush is fucked up. They're saying, like, the whole thing, you know? And just, they're just, you know, just random conversations I've walked by, and I'm just like, whoa, I, you know, I haven't heard anything like that in a while, you know? And you kind of, it seems to be more common, you yeah. know? That, yeah. So people are kind of you know, uh, waking up, for lack of a better way. I mean, I, I, I think that term's kind of thrown out a lot, but I guess it works, you know, that it's, it's you know, people are starting to see the, you know, as the, as the you know, the, the, the state starts to get more oppressive, it becomes more obvious. It's yeah. glaringly obvious. But the thing is, is that the more they try to do that, the more people start being like, hey, wait a minute, you know, this isn't going to work. And then the, 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 <clears throat> the exact opposite happens to the point where they lose their control completely you know, right so no i think it's a good point i think the state is losing credibility in the eyes of the mass you know the masses you know as time goes on and like you said the more they crack down authoritatively the the more uh credibility they lose and it's only a matter of time before you know enough people wake up to the fact that the state you know as an institution is completely debunked as being a legitimate authority over their lives and um, yeah, I mean, I think that's that's the. I, I just see the state as a rather fragile, you know, in a, the state is in a rather fragile state of being. <laughs> that's and, accurate. Uh, yeah, so I mean, it's a house of cards. Yeah, yeah, it's like a house of cards. I mean, you blow it over, you know, and the strong enough wind blows, and it's gonna all topple down. But you know, what comes from that, I think, is is a big issue. And um, yeah, I mean. You know, I don't think we as, you know, libertarian, anarchists, whatever we want to term ourselves as, should just assume that the state is going to collapse and, you know, freedom for all is going to ensue. Right. You know, I think we should work diligently in, in, in educating ourselves and educating the people around us and people we come in contact with to the best of our abilities uh, to, you know, really get to the, the underground of what it means to, to live in a truly free and just society. And um, so yeah, but I mean, I think you're absolutely right. I think the the germ is spreading for for liberty and for you know the the demise, the ultimate demise of the state, no doubt. Well, if you hear people randomly speaking like that, you got to think that I mean it's definitely worth checking out because I think when a lot of people start their journey, they feel pretty alone. Yeah. And that was another thing that was so cool about Jackalope is you don't sound like a crazy person. Right, you're on, you're on <laughs> you know, whether you're talking about aliens or fucking whatever, someone knows what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Even if they don't believe you. Yeah, yeah they're open-minded. They, they, they've heard the stories before. Yeah. 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 Like, I, I don't think anybody, like, the whole weekend did I ever hear anybody say, like, hey, that guy who's there's it's crazy. Yeah. You know, like, I didn't hear that at all. There's all sorts of, like, you know, pretty... Pretty interesting conversations. Not one time did it was anybody walk around going, "Hey, that guy over there, he's crazy. you know." Like, I never heard that. That's know? just because we were saying it about you. <laughs> <laughs> I was that guy. Okay, I got it. Under our breath. <laughs> it's, uh, oh, nice. as I was leaving to go last year. I busted a tire. And this year I busted a tire. So I had to leave. Was it the same tire? I was no, meant to yeah, ask no, you. No, opposite. Though, yeah. <laughs> Funny enough, though, but. Uh, as I was going out, Mark Stevens was coming in, and I exchanged some uh, hellos. Yeah, but what was funny is, uh, at my campsite, I had talked to some guy who, I probably, if you're watching, I'm sorry, I don't remember your name, but he, Mark Stevens had, had helped him out of a ticket before. And it, it was interesting how he was talking about how Mark said, well, if you really want to do that, you know, you need to make sure you really want to do this, because you're going to get yelled at, berated, made fun of you're gonna uh they're gonna be nasty to you and um ultimately he did and uh he was saying how he challenged the authority 
their authority and show me that they had jurisdiction. I have a check. I'll write, you know, I'll write it right now. If you can show me that you have jurisdiction here. And the prosecutor went high and right, was cussing in the courtroom. Wow. Yeah, actually, like, going, like he started suff shuffling through papers like he was going to produce something, and then he couldn't, and he's just, he gets all mad, starts cussing in the courtroom. And the judge said, you know, or he says, well, we'll find, you'll find out at, tri at trial then. And he goes, oh, this is going to trial? He says, you bet it is. The attorney says, you bet it is. And so he has to sign some paperwork about coming back to trial, and he says, I'm not signing anything. So the judge intervenes and says, this is a document saying your court date is, and you need to be here. And he says, I'll be here, but I'm not signing anything. And they said, fine. And then in the mail, he gets a dismissal. Nice. <laughs> there you go. I feel like don't want to put up with yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. We've had enough of that kind of talk in that courtroom. We'll just stay home. Well, it's crazy how many people don't even fight their traffic tickets. I did. I I, won. Yeah, I yeah. went four times I won. this year awesome. yeah. alone. She I got a out of like a thousand bucks. <laughs> yeah. I haven't gotten one since then. But first, you have to go through the first process where you say you want a court date. And on, there are so many people that I'll are paying pay 300 to $1,000 just be, just to pay their ticket. And, like, I it. was in the wrong all four times, and the cop never showed up and once. Were you in the wrong? Either here in three the times. Wrong. Well, I mean. Legality. Yeah. Legality. Yeah. I was having a conversation on my cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> didn't have a seatbelt on. I, I don't like seatbelts. So you, were, you were in the wrong as far as they said. As as yeah. Right. Their yeah. rules. According to their rules. I, I've seen a lot of cops driving around on two cell phones. Oh, yeah. Right. They got, they got a, a computer. computer. Oh, computer. Yeah. Right. Right. They're just I don't, I don't think they're Maybe that they're much smarter. And yeah, they're well trained. Yeah, right. So how who they how am, how do they know that I'm not trained to use my cell phone while <laughs> You're I'm not driving? A right. yeah. 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 I, I remember uh, one situation like that. I was I was driving home from work and the cop was on his cell phone. I didn't see he was on his cell phone until he does not see the red light, drives about a quarter of the way into the intersection, stops, and then when he stops, that's why I see he's on his cell phone. Whoops! <laughs> turns on his his cop lights, oh, drives my. through the through, through the light, oh, wow. and then just like screams off somewhere. And I'm just looking at him like bastard. <laughs> <laughs> You're but, not above the law, mother. Yeah, but that's uh, um, you know, I, you were saying you know about uh, fighting tickets. Uh, I got a ticket one time, uh, you know, and I went went to my court date, and I was keeping notes as I was doing it. And, and I've gotten a lot of tickets, so I've done this every time. <laughs> and they get about ten grand an hour from everybody just saying guilty because the cop showed up. Like, yeah, yeah sure, whatever, I'll pay it. You just like, look at it and you're like, court? yeah, they're about, ten, about ten grand an hour. Yeah. Wow. And, yeah, uh, business. Yeah. And, you know, and here, here, you know, here's a, you know, a, a, a nonviolent idea for this whole thing is just imagine if every Burn down the courthouse. <laughs> <laughs> nonviolent <laughs> idea. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> if... Uh, Imagine this one, like, if every single person who got a ticket just said not guilty, they'd be pushing out court dates beyond what they could legally oh do, gosh. you know? Like, they have to settle it within 30 days, or at least give you a trial within, I think, 30 days or yeah. something like that. They would be pushing them out so far that they just they couldn't handle well, it. Well, even now, even to, now, yeah. with with the system the way it is, they ask people to waive their their right to a speedy trial yep. mm -hmm. just so they can get them in. The, the, yeah. real, the real question is, is what, Mike? Uh, the real question is... I don't know if we're there. Are we there? Okay, we're there. We're pretty much there. Are we there? No, we're not there. If, oh! If there was a robot at Libertopia... Okay. Or, I mean, not Libertopia. Jackalope. <laughs> Libertopia something? There Jackalope. was a bunny slash... Whatever a the jackalope, hell, jackalope robot. A jackalope, a jackalope robot. Okay, so oh, where are we going? Is it cyborg? <laughs> With all the I mean, is this bestiality? <laughs> yeah. What is it? No, it's Jack Fest. <laughs> well, what is it's Jack it? Fest? <laughs> Jack off. Wait, 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 no, it's not Jack off Fest. Uh, <laughs> we'll have to change that hashtag, right? Uh, well, the thing is, is my question: if it was sentient, if it was fully aware, right, and you pinned it down, and you pinned it down, wait, but that would be. And it poked you in the eye with its. Horn and you liked it. And you liked it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I think we're getting oh, no. carried are away. We, are we getting carried yeah. away? This Never again. Sick. We this got off topic. <laughs> I don't think so. I think we're very much on topic. Okay. Yeah, but we're out of time. Oh, oh we're out of time. No. Yeah. What was the tragedy? We'll get to it another time. See you next week. Until next time. Peace. Until next right. time. Good night.